Hey everybody, it's Mama's Comedy Show. Hey, cousin audience, it's me, cousin Todd, with Mama's Comedy Show. And with me is cousin Andrew. Hi everybody. And all the way from over there, it's cousin Melanie. Hello. Melanie, have you done something different with your hair? Yes, it is slightly parted to the left instead of directly parted in the middle. Oh, did you clean it? <laughs> did I wash your my hair? Your hair looks clean. I wash it all of the time. Some people can get away yeah. with like extended periods of time without washing their hair. Mm -hmm. That stresses me out. Oh. Have you ever seen people who go like a whole month or weeks at a time? Yes. Uh, it's supposed to be healthy for your hair, yeah. the natural oils, mm -mm. but it stresses me out. It smells. I saw, uh, I saw a video of a woman who like hadn't washed her hair in five years. Yeah. Uh. Supposedly the natural oils do something, something, yep. and it's healthier. I wash my hair like every other day. I can't handle. I can't That's, handle that length of time. Well, I mean, I have not washed my balls in five years, and let uh. me tell you. Uh. Silky is the descriptive word I would use. I just like to imagine there's like woodland creatures just stuck down there, just like yeah. wanting to leave. No, it's uh, but they're trapped. Help! But I'll tell you what. Help me. If I press them up against a, a glass tabletop, you will know that I was there. Ugh. Like a God. <laughs> uh, Sometimes I wish in the podcast they could see our faces when we don't talk. <laughs> and the disgust. Ooh, you He's know, like, hey, did someone put some rotten eggs on this table? You know that, that ugh, Ew. God. You know that reminds me, you, you ever see that, uh, that J the James Bond movie? It was, I think it was the first one for... Uh, What's his name? Daniel uh, Craig? Yeah, yeah, where he's sitting in the chair, and they're, like, smacking his balls. Oh. Oh. That's in the movie? Yeah. Is yeah, he man. naked? He, he's in a chair. Yeah, he's yeah. in a chair. He's naked, but they've cut out the bottom of the chair, so his balls are hanging down. Yeah. And they have this, like, rope with a knot in it, and they're yeah. swinging it, and they swing Ooh. it up right, Ooh. right in the gooch. Yeah, oh my right, God. right in there. The, he, I think he got the most abuse out of any James Bond. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Uh, Wait, was the hole in the chair just big enough for his balls? Yes. Like it was the right size? Well, like they well. knew in advance exactly how big they were? <laughs> I like to think that the guy came in and he like cut the first hole and then it didn't fit and he was like, oh, good for you, Mr. Bond. The AC is really high. It's, re it's really cold in here. We must turn it up a bit. <laughs> um, I did, uh, like I always, in a movie when someone gets their balls racked, uh. and I feel like, I feel like, Melanie, I feel like you don't get it. You don't, you don't get the, I don't, the ball I, pain? You've ever racked don't. balls before, Melanie? But anytime, I've never, no one's ever given you the, like a mound pound? A, a oh, yeah, no! no that's, that's less common <laughs> than punch, I think most uh, people think. You ever a, had your uh, vagina curb stomped? <laughs> a, a, a punch in the south mouth? <laughs> I don't know. Some reason when I'm hanging out with my friends, we're not all just like, hey, let's just smack the crap out of each other. You just, so, just smack the crack. I only say that because I watched you do it to Andrew like two shows oh, ago for yeah. no reason. Just yeah. walk up. He and... just came up and just punched me in my dick for some <laughs> yeah, reason. So... I'm like, all right, cool. Well, this is the game we're playing. I don't know. This you is know not there, usually... was, there was a period of time where the mama stage was not a safe place for dick and balls. I could tell. And that was like, it, it, it started, I think... I think it may have been someone said something about tapping in the nuts mm -hmm. and Tony was standing next to me and I just kind of wrapped him real good in the nuts. Ugh. And then it became like a revenge thing. But then other people were somehow brought in on it. Never, never a woman. Mm. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't have to wash our hands yeah. after we do it. But uh, the, the, the uh, what are you going <laughs> yeah. in and up? Is yeah. that the goal? <laughs> Take that James. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, <laughs> The, so going back to the uh, getting hit in the balls. Uh, Did we leave that to go back to it? Yeah, well, in a movie, when I see oh, someone okay. getting, getting whacked in the huevos, uh -huh. uh, I always, in my head, I'm like, I would throw up. Like, I would just throw uh -huh. up. Mm. And, and I've, I've only seen it done twice, where in the movie, when someone got hit in the balls, yeah. they threw up. And it, one what was that, was it Nick of Time with Johnny Depp, where the movie was an hour and a half exactly, and... The movie was done in real time. Like, mm -hmm. he had an hour and a half to do a, a certain thing. <laughs> yeah. And in it, this wow. dude, like, full on, not like a nut tap. He's, a, he's fighting with this guy in the bathroom. And this guy full on just jacks him oh. in, the, in the balls oh. as hard as he can. And I turned to my friend and I went, dude, I would just throw up. <laughs> as up. soon as I said that, Johnny Depp turns to the sink and goes, <laughs> just vomps. And, yeah. and I I was like, yeah. Rightfully so. There uh we <sighs> we were rehearsing uh this was like it was like ten or so years ago, and we were all in a circle, and for some reason we're sitting in a circle as they're doing a scene, it's my buddy Andy 
and uh, I forget who else was there. But for some reason, they did a move. Someone did a move, and they, like, hit Andy right in the nuts. And he just goes on the ground. And mind you, we're all still in a circle watching. He's like, ah! He's, like, writhing in pain. His eyes are, like, closed. He's like, ah! 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 Everyone's quiet. Ah! Ah! And Natalia goes, you're in. (laughs) <laughs> just, just says, you're in. And I thought that was so That's funny. how you haze your new team members? <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Your, your first kid's going to be fucked up. You're in. <laughs> you're in. You're in. Um, you have to sacrifice one not conceived child uh, to be in an improv troupe. So, Melanie, let me ask you this, because guys have the, uh, the pain <laughs> of, a, of, a, of a nut hit, but also there's something that I, I couldn't describe to you, but when... When we're in a car going down the road and there's a slight hill with a drop behind it, mm-hmm. for a moment, our testes go like zero G. Oh, yeah. And we feel Wait, it. what? Yeah. 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 I've had that before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's. Wait. Are you, is that just because you're driving way too fast? No. I'm just, it's just, I mean, sometimes you'll get it on a roller coaster, too, but you really, in a car, because you're flat. Ooh, next time you're on a roller coaster, let's... Men, let's focus on what our testicles are doing. Like, really think uh, how they're how, feeling. That's how I got thrown off of Tower of Terror. No, no, don't touch your testicles. <laughs> I, I just, so. I just, the picture, you just see my balls floating up by my face. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot of skin, buddy. So long. <laughs> yes. So, but wait, you're telling me you're driving in a car. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else on you, but no, you're your wearing balls. your clothes. No, yeah. no, that's not my point. No other part of your body but your balls feels like they're levitating. Yeah. Just them. It's your balls go zero g, and it's just like weird tingly around your ball feeling. Oof. And and like I've been in a car before where we were like driving. It was like in the middle of nowhere, like country road. We're driving. We hit one of those hills. Every dude in the car just goes, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> did your balls go zero g? Yeah, mine did. Oh, wow. It's great. Yeah. I feel like you said that just to give yourself some backup, but this feels... Melanie. No. Melanie. Have, you, have you guys ever experienced that zero G ball thing? Melanie. Like, how come this is not spoken about? Melanie. What makes your balls so different than everything else that they're do, gravity defying? Do, does your, do you feel your ovaries go zero G? No! Mm. <laughs> I don't understand this biology. Maybe if your ovaries were in a separate sack hanging outside of your body, mm-hmm. it would feel different. I have boobs. Yeah. Well, yeah. They yeah. don't do that. <laughs> uh, for the listeners at home, Melanie just waved her arm up and down, show, demonstrating how they the don't fly bounce. went by. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was waving the fly. So like, you, that's how you... Can you imagine? It? But you know what? Like, what, what about a woman with the, the, uh, you know, the fried egg on a, on a nail boobies? What? You know, the, you know the boobies that are just like real, like just... Flappy oh. Hot oh, like yeah, you, more she skin might, than woman. Yeah. yeah, she might feel that. She might. Get oh that. yeah, she definitely makes some plopping noise. I guess it like, depends how much skin and weight there is. Are you saying because after I have a certain heavy point, balls? No, I'm saying you have light balls. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying uh, if your balls get airborne and tingly, they don't weigh a lot. No, mm. that's not true. I feel like if you were to drop a feather or a uh, your, tennis ball. Uh, <laughs> out of, I was going to say bowling ball. Man. I thought you were going to say, if you, if you throw a feather, a bowling ball, and a testicle out of a plane, <laughs> well, see they, which lands Which first. one levitates? Mm-hmm. Well, if they were in a vacuum, they would all fall at the same speed. Hey, guys, you want to see? <laughs> My you just balls. leave one. <laughs> one balls. Yeah, look at old Adolf over here. Uh, <laughs> um but yeah, no, that's that's a that's a real. I was gonna. The reason I brought it up is I was gonna ask if women had that equivalent. Not that is ever registered for me. Hmm. You gonna? We're, I don't have I don't have dangle boobs though, so I don't know if that happens. Or prove not. it. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Andrew, you freaked out when I waved a fly away. So let's not <laughs> go that far. Uh, I always think like, because Melanie's Melanie's what we would consider like an attractive person, right? Like some of us would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some people. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's, she's dainty. Andrew, I'm I know kidding. where your balls are. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna slap them zero, zero G. Uh, Let's see if they levitate. Uh, but like she's she's like a like a cute like dainty person. You yeah, wouldn't absolutely. expect something like. But what if she was like she just pulled out one of her titties and it was just like a the, fist the, the, and it punched the, you in the face. The, the wildest titty you've ever seen in your life. Oh. Like at what point would like you a be pig's like, tail? Yeah. 
That's what I'm. That's what I feel. Did you say pig's, like a pig's tail? You think they're spiral? No, 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 no. I, but that would surprise me. Do you think they have a corkscrew? No, 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 no. I'm just, he's just saying what if, what if, the what if scenario. I like to. But think, you picture in your head that there are women out there with just pure corkscrew boobs. Well, now I am. Oh, yeah, me too. And now I found a new kink. Thank yeah. you, Melanie. And they just, they just hold on to you. Melanie, I think the lady doth protest too much. Oh my. You got some, you got some corkscrews in there. Oh. You guys, you guys, some porky tails. I just imagine Melanie, if if you were to expose your breasts, <laughs> they would have like like those '70s sunflowers or those '70s like flowers, just like yes. as nipples. I wear pasties all the time, like, just in case. You yeah. never know. Uh, you never know when you're going to be on a podcast and one's going to escape. Yep. <laughs> um, and no one will know. Uh, I dated a girl who did um, burlesque. <laughs> You could. Oh. And uh, so she she always had those pasty things. Oh man. Yeah. So did you ever take them off for her? No. Because that sounds that sounds horrible for yeah, her. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Just real quick. <laughs> uh, but yeah. No. I I, I guess. Uh, I mean. I guess having balls isn't all that bad. You know. We've we've got. Although mm. they 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 change per day. Yeah. Throughout the day. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, sometimes they they ride differently than other days. It's, sometimes it's, it's dirty. From the <laughs> external uh, perspective, it's the constant adjusting. Well, because, oh yeah, we have to. But they're not. But they're not always the, in the same spot. Yeah, the little jump. And just, just did. This is this is my gentleman jump. Yeah. That's, so if I'm ever doing this, I'm like yeah, adjusting myself. I that's guess a, that's better than if you see someone walking and they're just like flat out. Yeah. yeah. Grab adjusting. Or you yeah. just have like Todd punch you square in your dick. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm adjusted. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> He's just helping you out. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But uh, all right. So I'm, I'm trying to get the female experience from your point of view. Like the difference. This is coming from a married man. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Like, yeah. See, He's, uh, what? No, we don't. We don't use that word. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> from from an assisted living yeah. man. <laughs> Ass- assisted living man. Yes. Can I tell you that girl that was in the audience? I hope she's listening to this at some point. Hi. But the girl that was in the audience the other night, where uh, I asked who she was with, and she said, "My husband, my assistant." <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And I was like, "Ah, oh, she listens." That's that makes really me cool. Happy. Um, but uh, like in the bathroom. Like, you've never had to deal with a bathroom where it's a trough. Have you ever had a what? trough? Oh. Ew. Yeah. Are you talking about when it's just like a whole long thing and everyone stands and pees in it? Yeah. No. Yeah. I've never had to deal with that. It's never been one giant toilet that yeah. we all commune <laughs> together <laughs> and use. I, I experienced that at... Um, Baseball game, probably? I, I Actually, in Paris. It was the first time I went to this McDonald's and I looked on the ground. As soon as you, we came in... There, there's like this trough on the ground, and that was the only place to pee. And I'm like, I immediately bougie me. I'm like, ew, this is gross. And then someone kicked you out because you were pooping in it. <laughs> Just left my Sometimes, name. Sometimes though, bathrooms are bad enough that I'm like, wouldn't it be nice if standing was so much easier? Because even squatting after a while is a challenge. If you don't want to touch the toilet, what are you looking for? Do you hear that? I hear what? That's what I'm hearing. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what? do you ever hover? Is it Andrew okay? Is it, do you ever hover? Is it hover? telling you to hurt people? Do you ever hover, Wait, Melanie? Andrew, are you, oh, do you see the fly? <laughs> no, I'm shaking my boobs. Do, are you, do you hover? Do you hover? Um, I have, yeah. Sometimes you, you gotta. It's yeah. gross. Yeah. Uh, I it's just, not enjoyable I to just hover. never, yeah. I will never poop in public, so I don't have to deal with that. But that's my point exactly. Right. So some, no matter what. But a trough situation... <clears throat> You are facing another adult male with their dick in their hands and nothing between your dicks. Except your hands. Hopefully some <laughs> space you're not touching. Todd, Todd, you ever... You're you ever, supposed to. Hopefully you ever, you're not touching tips. You ever gone to a urinal and, like, the urinal was, like, way too high up? Oh, yeah. Because, like, I went to this... What do you do, shoot up? Well, no, I was at yeah. this resort. I, I got to get a boner before I <laughs> pee in this I, I was, went to this place and, and like, here's, it's, like... It's way above, like, the waist. I'm like, what is this? And I was tippy-toesing, and I felt, I was embarrassed. Did they have a step stool? No, there was It didn't make sense. It's like, this Did is you for pull really... Your, pull your pants all the way down before you use the urinal? <laughs> like a kid? Just like, <laughs> just here it is. Like, your gosh, gosh, but gosh on the floor. My, my, my ass just hanging out. Hey, buddy. Uh, there, so I, I also think there's a thing uh, called uh, toilet etiquette with guys, because you are whipping your dick out in the presence of other guys. Uh, so, like... Usually there's like a courtesy stall yeah. or a, a 
urinal. So like if Andrew's at a urinal mm-hmm. and there's a line of urinals, it's weird if no one else is at any of the other urinals, but I yes. just saddle up next to him. If you just that's, do, yeah, that's the same yeah, for oh all bathroom God. courtesy though. That, Even stalls that, for women, you go every other why? unless you're there's closed, no option. But you're closed off. Because still no matter what, all you do is have like a little bit of a nothing wall between you and you'd be hip to hip. There's a courtesy what? space. How there's small a courtesy are these space. bathrooms you go into? Tiny. All women's rooms are not comfortable. Right. There's a courtesy space unless there's no option and there's a line. And then if there's a line, you just go in one that's open. Yeah, that's that is the I will say the benefit of being a guy is yeah. any just, any like sporting event or like theatrical event that you go to if there's like an intermission or a halftime or something, mm-hmm. the men's bathroom no line. Yeah, I'm yeah. aware. So what and you what you do is you just go in and just pee sonar like until you find because it doesn't matter it's already disgusting so yeah. you just go everywhere like cool back to the game. Yeah, if they, if all the urinals are taken then there's at least two sinks that you can just, just or if there's a cat you know you just no. And in the ladies' rooms, it's like, wow, I've been standing in line for 45 minutes for two bathrooms. Oh, yeah, that does yeah. suck. And this lady has 14 kids in the stall with her, so we're going to be here ooh, for a while. How do we solve that problem, men? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go over here. Feel free to chat about what it. Do you, what do you think? How do they solve that problem? Do you have an idea? Yeah, more stalls. Oh, no, 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 no. That's... Uninspired. More bathrooms. No. You know what I think you need is you need the, uh, was it the shiwi? Oh, where you like you want stuff it to, in and mix it like yeah. a trunk? And then give yeah. us urinals too? Yeah. Great. Yeah, and, and you know what? What do you want me to do, carry that in my pocket as no, I go no, no. throughout my day? No, there will be one there for you. Better, yeah. <laughs> you just shake it off before you uh-huh. use it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you my Uh-oh. my awkward bathroom story? Oh no! I was doing a job in Vegas, and it was like a video a video job. And we had just finished the video had played, and I was there with my buddy Jason. And this is Vegas, the bathrooms in the resorts are are huge. They're like gigantic uh, bathrooms. Mm-hmm. So you have to imagine that there were like 20, 20 urinals along the wall, right? So I go into urinal one, and my friend Jason goes to urinal 20. So there's, like, plenty of space between us. This super drunk guy walks in and walks right next to me. (laughs) And he's really drunk, and I was wearing, like, a red hat. And uh, and he goes, you can't wear those anymore. Uh, (laughs) I was about to say. This was a while ago. Uh, And uh, he goes, "Uh, is that your lucky hat? Like, while I'm peeing, and he's peeing at the Uh. same time, he goes, is that your lucky hat? And I go, yeah. And he goes, yeah. You gonna fuck tonight? Oh my god! What? <laughs> and, was what? he offering? And I, I don't know. And I, and I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna try. And he just goes, yeah. And then he faces forward again and goes, I'm gonna fuck tonight. Oh man! And I look past him and I see my friend Jason just beat red, trying not to laugh at that last stall. <laughs> Oh man! Did you? Why talk to people when you're peeing? Ask yeah. him for his number and update him. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I well, saw. I, I saw what he was. Why well, have any conversation in the bathroom at all unless it's your friend that you know? Like, right. why? There's no reason. To, are like, you pee shy? Why are you making small talk for some of us? Are you? Are you? Are you? Sorry, I just realized I made a joke about myself. <laughs> Having that was stupid. It's hard for you to to put pee pee in someone's coke if other people are talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was one time I was I was just I was running a bingo and I didn't have enough daubers or whatever. And after the event, I went I was going pee and this old man comes up and he and he perches like right next to me. And like while we're peeing, I don't know why. Again, he he yeah he came up right next to me. He's like, "Hey, you got you you need, you're gonna need more dabbers." I'm like, like oh, God damn it! I'm like no shit! I'm like why are you telling me this now? When I got my dick in my hand. He's like I could, I could use that as a dabber. I'm like all right. <laughs> uh, I did have an uncomfortable. Uh, I was at a friend's bachelor party, and we went to a strip club. Oh. Melanie Earmuffs. Uh, <laughs> I have a quesadilla waiting. Uh, a strip club is where <laughs> ladies uh, remove their clothing and make men believe that they like them. Um, but I, I went to the urinal, and it was we a... We do that outside of strip clubs, <laughs> too. Dang. Oh, I know. She's cold as ice. <laughs> but, but I was peeing at a urinal, 
-hmm. and my there were only two urinals there, mm -hmm. and my buddy was peeing in the other one, and it was already like an uncomfortable experience. Like this strip club was kind of skeevy. Yeah, and I didn't really just like I didn't want to sit down. I didn't want, and also I also had this weird anxiety in a strip club because I, like I don't want to be a pervert, but yeah. I'm in a strip club, so but I'm like four perverts. So I'm just like uh, eye contact though. Yeah, I, like they probably think I'm <laughs> that a does serial not killer. Help. That does not you help. You making that face? They probably think that I am a serial killer. Oh boy, <laughs> because. In, in your day to day life, yeah. like Melanie, like stand up straight. All right, now arch your back a little. Uh, <laughs> no, pop but, it, pop it, Melanie, no, pop it. No, but like if I'm talking to you and you look to me and you see my eyes are down at your boobies, that's a gross thing. So, like, out in the world, but. You were in a strip club. Yeah, but even still, but the world is the training zone, right? So yeah. everyday life, we're, to we're told. What, what, if you, what if you did this? What if you asked for her permission? Be like, ma'am, <laughs> may I look at your boobies? She'll look at you crazy, and then you're the weird guy. Yeah. But she, if she says, yeah, you're paying for this. Like, All right, here we go. So, so like super, <laughs> super weird experience anyway. So I go to the bathroom to pee, and my buddy is with me. And then uh, this chin lands on my shoulder. Oh. It was a stripper who followed us into the bathroom. Named Chin. <laughs> and, and put her chin on my shoulder. I was going to say, that started to sound really <laughs> racist. <laughs> and, and went, you need help with that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why, and, that's fun. <laughs> no, it's uh, not. She was bored. Yeah. <laughs> need help. I was like, that. I don't have any money. What, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? <laughs> get, get out. Go on. Get <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I went to a strip club in Deland. Uh, the, the, the tagline is it's like uh, it's like ten strippers and it's like one without an arm. They have like a tagline. It's something like that. That's their selling point. Yeah. We went in there on a whim. On a whim, we went in there like all right. And I had never. No, we didn't get any attention from the women dancers. And I'm like, guys, we could do this at a bar. <laughs> we could be like not have any... Be ignored? Yeah, by women at a bar. We could do this at a bar. Melanie, have you been to a strip club? No. Ever? No. Ladies no. and gentlemen, here we go. <laughs> what about a steakhouse? I would house? go. You would? I would go to a strip club. I've never been though. Would you look at their boobies? Yeah. Oh, see, that's weird. You know, I would... But they'd also let them look at mine if they needed to. Yeah? Wait, hold on. What, <sighs> does, what necessitates needing to see boobs? I don't know. I, I I've been in the desert for <laughs> four weeks with no food or My water. Is, I Melanie. feel like we'd be talking about them. I yeah. got you, honey. Here you go. I feel like it would be a conversation about it. I'd be like, wow, your boobs look great and sparkly. What do you use? Starla needs a cigarette. <laughs> and then they'd be giving me advice, and then, of course, you have to discuss it. <laughs> You're like, what do you use? And she's like, this is just tears. <laughs> and I'd be like, great. I know how to cry. I live on menthol, honey. Uh, yeah, I bet your stepdad's real excited to see you here today. Uh, uh, so he runs the club, asshole. I, I have, I have uh, two really. I mean, that I guess three. I have un any time I've ever been to a strip club, mm -hmm. it's been like an occasion. Uh, so it's in New Orleans. No, it's just it, it's it's never the type of thing that I'm like, hey, let's go to a titty club because oh. it's it's like paying for porn. Like, why would you pay for oh, yeah. porn when it's all free wherever you, wherever you look? You know. Yeah. Well, you're supporting them. You're supporting women dancers. Yeah, that's who, is that what you say? <laughs> you, you're, yeah, local artists. It's like Fringe, <laughs> except <laughs> there's no puppets. Except what? <laughs> no Melanie. I guarantee you there are strippers who use puppets. Oh, I'm oh, sure. Okay. There is every art form that I, uses see, puppets. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there, mean, there was a strip club in town. So Florida is the worst, like, when it comes I, to a lot. Everything. But mm. uh, there was a strip club in town that was deemed, uh, well, they're no more topless. It was in Orlando. Oh, yeah, boo. Yeah, there was, you could no longer be topless where you were selling alcohol. But mm. then the argument came, well, what about the local theaters who were doing plays that require nudity and they sell beer in their concession stands? And they were like, well, if it's art, you can <laughs> do it. So this strip club performed Shakespeare completely <laughs> in the nude yes. to get around the, that regulation. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, it was, That's fantastic. Yeah, they're terrible actresses. But... <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou? <coughs> Romeo. <laughs> what kind of strip clubs do you go to that that's the quality? Just coughing up cum. <coughs> oh, that's, that's, not a, that's not a strip club. Oh, sorry. You're Walmart, the... Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Uh, so, okay, I have, I, have, I have a really uncomfortable stripper story. Um, <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> number, is this your second visit? No, so this one was, 
This one literally was supposed to be supporting a friend. Oh. There was a girl. Were they the stripper? Or... Yes, okay. they were the stripper. So she, she just got this job. She worked with us at this other dinner theater. She, but she was like, a, like a, I guess a, she was sometime bartender or server. Mm. Um, and she was real excited about this job. And we were, like, there were four or five of us who were talking to her. And she's like, my first day is tomorrow morning, or it's like an afternoon shift, and I'm really scared. And one of the other girls who was there was like, hey, I'll come with you. And we, we all talked about it. We were like, oh, yeah, we'll all go, and we'll all, we'll all support you. And so we, we agree to meet there at noon. Guess what, asshole, is the only person that showed up. <laughs> you? Yeah, just me. <laughs> and I keep thinking the other four people are going to show up. It's the middle of the day in a Were strip club. Were you the club. only person there? There was no one else in there. Oh, no. And so then, she wanted to work. She had to work for you. And no. then, and then oh, she's like, no. well, it's my turn to go up on stage. And I'm like, <laughs> this is real uncomfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Daphne, you just hear one clap. No. I made no sound. <laughs> eye contact. Yeah, I, <laughs> eye contact. Did you yell at all your friends? You know, for yeah, not showing yeah, I, up. I, I, I was pissed. like, "What the fuck?" And they were like, "Oh yeah, something came." And this was like, this will tell you how long ago it was. This was like before everyone had a cell phone in their hand. Yeah, you know, people had pagers. And, and were you like, I paged you, know, you so many times? <laughs> I paged you nine one one. You know, my, my one of my favorite like comedy moments is when like uh, someone like says like a joke, and all of a sudden you just hear one person go. I just think that's so is, funny. Is that, is that more cum coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, that, that's just what I imagine. So, like, she's like, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Daphne! <laughs> <laughs> and, like, a shuffling of plates. So, I was friends with a dancer uh, who, when, when I was living in Tampa, mm -hmm. the, this girl worked at a club called Mons Venus, which is famous oh. in Florida. You know what that is? Uh, no. I'm going to be honest, there was something on my shirt. What did you say? No, very good. <laughs> Uh, so there was a club called Mons Venus in Tampa, and a friend of mine, literally just a friend, nothing more, uh, she worked there as a dancer. And uh, I remember, like, talking to her on the phone mm -hmm. after she would get, like, she would call me at 2 o'clock in the morning. I, you know, a friend? Yeah, you know what? Like, now I'm kind of mad that I never did anything, <laughs> because I just thought... What were you discussing at talk... 2 a.m.? Was she at the strip club? No, she would she talk sexy to me, and I'd wait, and she'd wait till I came. We're just friends. <laughs> no, nothing, like, we literally would just, like, talk about it. How's your day? And, uh, uh, but 2 a.m. She was, she was like, oh, tonight was so bad. And I was like, oh, why, what happened? Let me specify, this was 1996, all right? So... Mm. Keep that time frame in your head. Right, when so Simpsons was good. Okay. Why, why, was t why was tonight so bad? I only made $800. <laughs> yeah. She only made yeah. $800. Wow. And that was a bad night. Yeah. And I just remember thinking, God, I wish I had titties. <laughs> uh, there are male strip clubs. Eh, no one wants to see this. <laughs> they make a lot. Actually, I think, they, they, like, at, uh, I had a, uh, my brother-in-law's brother worked at a uh, a gay bar. He was straight, but oh boy, he made a shit ton of money. Yeah, they just kept packing it in. Nice oh. pecs. <laughs> oh. Nice pecs or you have nice pecs. Or he had nice floating orbs that would go zero G from time to time. Mm -hmm. Do you think they just made him jump off of things constantly just to see if they would float? <laughs> He well, just kept getting higher and higher. To you know jump. what's weird is I don't get that sensation when I'm swimming, when they would be floating. I wonder if that's what astronauts in space feel all the time. Have you Googled Ooh. if astronauts have that sensation in space in zero oh, G? I, you know astronauts have fucked in space, right? I mean, yes. Uh, that's absolutely. fun. That's, that sounds cool. But what floats where, when, how? Like, like does, can the sperm make it to where it needs to go? I bet I can shoot it across the room. <laughs> oh, no. Andrew, I mean, wake up! Things can still move. It's just they float. <laughs> I mean, like yeah, well, it's just like one white globule of floating. Uh, <laughs> is that mayo or is that you, Todd? Have you ever watched the videos of the astronauts showing you how they do things in space? Oh yeah, well, it's that's... absolutely fascinating. But that is what it's like because it's like, let me show you how I wash my hair. Squirts water, just floats in a blob around yeah. until. Yeah. Strange. So strange. All right. Uh, well, we we should. Probably start wrapping it up. We just hit that 30 minute mark. Whoa! Uh, so. That was good timing. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. What did you learn tonight? 
Tonight, I learned there's many shapes and sizes of women, and that I think Melanie got offended because I think Melanie has pigtail boobies. <laughs> Wait, did you say... When you say pigtail, do you mean a pig's tail or pigtail like oh. how you wear your hair in pigtails? A pig's tail. Great. Yeah. With the animal. Hair, yeah, with, coming like out. Wilbur, pig. Great. That's some pig. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, <laughs> what um, did you learn tonight? I don't know if I fully learned, but what I've learned is I am going to need to do further research on why specifically balls float. What's the biology behind that? What's the physics behind that? I want the scientific reason, so I'm going to have to do more research. Okay, and I learned something tonight, too. Andrew, we need to all ride in the back of your car again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> so bum, Melanie bum, can bum. hold my balls as we... As, as, and I'll tell you the moment that it's happening, Joe. I'll tap oh, you on the head. no. No <laughs> ball touching in my car unless it's me. <laughs> poor Andrew. <laughs> I mean, by another person. Oh. And if another person be at a girl. Poor, poor Andrew. Not me touching myself. All right, we're Mama's Comedy Show. We're here every Friday night at 9 p.m. Come check out the podcast at 7.30 before the show and get some food. Yeah. Andrew, where can people find you? You can find me on uh, every Tuesday and first Saturday. I have improv comedy in Daytona Beach, uh, Random Acts of Insanity. We have a show uh, tomorrow, oh, June 1st, uh, Saturday, where we're going to do Uncensored Beer Prov, and also Twitch.tv, Omnigun, O-M-N-I-G-U-N-N. Leave a follow if you have Amazon Prime. Hook me up with a free subscription. Melanie, where can, can people find you? You can find me Googling why do balls flow. <laughs> Dot com. Yeah. Uh, and you can find my books on Amazon. Just search Todd Farron on Amazon. And, and, and you know what? Maybe in one of the books I will I will put a full detailed report as to why and when my balls float. I'll document it. Are you going to draw a I... diagram? Yes, a diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.